Okay guys, in this video I am going to explain how, uh, the important DSLR components. I have got this uh, Nikon DSLR, but any DSLR will, uh, DSLR will have the similar kind of components. So let us get started. First one is on off button. So if you want to start the camera, you can change this dial like that and the camera is on. Now you can take the picture. So if you want to turn off it, just press that button and then it will be turned off. So that is one thing. Uh, next one is this button. This button in the Nikon is especially used for the recording videos when you are in live mode. Next one is info. This button is used to display the information like exposure parameters and uh, other information. For example, when we start the camera, you can see that uh, it is uh, displaying all this information on the screen. So if I press that button, info, what happens is that uh, that information is displayed, shown or uh, it is shown or it is hidden. So if I press, it will be hidden. If I press it again, it will be shown like that. So that is the purpose of that particular button. You can show or hide this information where it is showing uh, all the information like ISO, important exposure triangle, parameter details. All right, let's move on. Next one is uh, this shutter. So you can see that the, this white color button, this is actually called a shutter. So if you want to take the pictures, you can press this button and then you can take the picture, for example, if I want to take the picture over here, I'm just going to press this button and you can see that I have taken this picture. So there are actually two things. If you press this halfway, what happens is that camera starts to focus on the subject. And if you press fully, then it will take the picture. So that is shutter speed or sorry, shutter button. Next is uh, this button over here. You can see that there is a uh, it is showing something over there so this is actually called as an aperture so there are two uh, ways in which this button can be used in be used to change the exposure as well as uh, change the aperture when uh, you are shooting in the manual mode or the programmed auto mode so i'm gonna show you one th i'll show those uh, settings later on let's move on this is called as a uh, mode dial you can uh, put the camera in different different modes like Aperture uh, priority or the program auto shutter priority. This is yes means shutter priority. Or A means aperture priority mode. M means manual mode. Where you have to uh, like set the values for the aperture, shutter speed, etc. Manually. And here are some automatic uh, variants of the automatic mode. If you want to take the uh, pictures in the night, you can set this to this particular mode. Then for the macro photography, you can put it over here, sports photography like that. There are lots of other uh, modes over there. This is uh, auto mode without flash and this green is nothing but auto mode where all the settings are predetermined by the camera. So this mode is generally used by the beginners. So that's it about it. Next is this is called as the command dial. This is used to change the values of the aperture or the shutter speed depending upon in which mode you are for example uh, right now i'm gonna put it in the aperture mode and then in the aperture mode you can see that right now the aperture is f2.2 and if i want to change it i can change rotate this dial and then aperture will be changed for example 2.5 2.8 etc if you want to decrease it i can just move it in the other direction and in clockwise direction and then it will be decreased so that's how you can uh, use this command dial mode depending upon which mode uh, you are in right now in uh, i was in aperture mode so if i are in shutter uh, shutter speed priority mode then uh, it will change the shutter speed if i you rotate this dial and yeah this ael and afl this is used to lock the exposure and the focus of the camera i'll explain detail in detail about this button later on this is called as the viewfinder this is called as the shoe mount where you can put the microphone external microphone if you have this is strap 
um, in this uh, side over there we have got the microphone slot then micro usb hdmi port and this is used for the gps gps port we call it you can also find this information over here all right now next is on this side we have got this button to open or close this flash you can see that you can open that flash this fn function is actually you can uh, set this particular button to perform certain operation for example you can change the iso etc using that button and then this button is actually used to remove this lens so most of the dslr uh, will give the capability to change the lens so to change the lens you can press this button and then uh, rotate that lens in this direction in the clockwise direction until this white dot matches the white dot on the lens and then you can pull out this particular lens so i'll just show you let me turn off the camera first of all then you can push it and then move this like that so you can see that on the lens there is a dot white dot and on the camera we have got white dot so i'm just gonna i'm gonna fix that so that is how you can move the lens or uh, take out the lens and uh, attach another lens so in this lens we have got this 1.8 g lens 35 mm fixed uh, length or the prime lens we can call it we can put the lens in the mac uh, manual mode or the autofocus mode all right and this is the focus ring when the lens is in manual mode you can change the focus using this ring next one is here it is showing the model of this nikon so it is d3200 this is the model now next one is this button playback button in the playback button what happens is that you can uh, view all the photographs that you have taken and then once the first photograph is shown you can navigate using this buttons over there like that okay. forward or backward direction if you want to delete any of these photographs you can use this delete button and uh, it will give this pop-up if you want to delete it again click on the same button and then it will delete it like that all right so that is the playback button this is the menu where you can set different different menus settings so right now i'm not gonna get into that and then this is plus and minus these buttons are actually used to zoom in or zoom out of the image so if i come here if i want to zoom in i can use this particular dial and i can also use this button to set the portion on which you want to zoom and with this what happens is you can zoom out and you can also get into this grid system where you can view all the photographs most of the uh, photographs in this way in grid format then this button i button is actually used to save the information for example right now you can see that uh, this image quality then size white balance iso settings all these settings are there which you can change by clicking on this ok button here you can set the values so that is how you can uh, set different different values out of focus mode and then this is called a single frame a release mode so there are different settings that you can do over there i'll cover this in detail later on so right now just remember that you can change that uh, settings using that button and if you want to get the more information about specific setting you can click on this button again you can see that there is a question mark which means that it will give some information about that so it is showing that uh, flash compensation information over there so it will actually tell you what that setting is all about all right so let's move on now next one is this one so with this it is actually called as a release mode uh, so you can set it to the single frame it means that when you press the shutter button it will uh, capture a single frame if you want to capture multiple frames you can put that uh, in that in that mode like that if you want to uh, set the self timer it will take the photograph after 10 seconds after you press the shutter button then you can also uh, use delayed remote quick response remote or the quiet shutter release in quiet shutter release uh, you will not see any sound 
it will photo will be taken without any sound so these are all settings over there now let us move on over here we can see that there is a sd card slot over here you can insert or remove the sd card from that particular thing and finally at the bottom this is the slot where you can use the tripod to mount on the if you want to mount the camera on the tripod you can use this particular slot here they are given some information about the dslr made in thailand Ikan corporation japan battery uh, details is also given over there and finally we have got this thing over there so if you want to see what is there you can just press it in this direction and then pull this so over here we have got one battery so that's it all about this dslr nikon dslr most of the dslrs will have these components uh, the buttons and the layout will be a little bit different but all the settings or the operations that are performed using those buttons will be the uh, most of the times it will be the similar so that's it in this video if you uh, enjoy this video hit the like button and uh, share this video with your friends also subscribe to my channel for more videos like that